Okay, in this video, I want to talk about what happens if there's more than one central atom. So uh, previously, we're just looking at one atom in the middle and things around it. Um, so this is going to be methanol. Um, and I'm just going to walk through my Lewis dot structure, structure process as an example, and then kind of show how we have two different central atoms. So here we have one carbon, we have four hydrogen, and we have one oxygen. So our carbon is going to have eight minus four outer electrons. That'll be uh, four bonds. This will get, this should be familiar. Hydrogen wants to have two instead of eight. It has one outer electron, which is one bond. And oxygen also wants to have an octet roll. It has six outer electrons because it's in that sixth group. So it wants two bonds. All right, so now I know which ones of the, the most or least bonds. So I'm gonna do this one first because it has the most bonds that it needs. And then I'll place my oxygen second and I'll do my hydrogens last. All right, so let's start with that carbon in the center and I just have one of them. I'm gonna draw my electron dot symbol. And next I'm gonna place an oxygen and I can place it at any one of these corners of or faces of this carbon. I'm gonna do it at a different one this time. And I'm gonna line it up so I'm, I'm connecting it so my, um, unpaired electron on my oxygen and an unpaired electron on my carbon are lining up. I am gonna keep these lone pairs on the oxygen and just like not touch them and just kind of carry them through my process. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna count up how many uh, unpaired electrons I have because now I'm ready to place my hydrogens. I have one, two, three, four spots and I have four hydrogens. So I don't need to make any multiple bonds. I'm going to come through and add my hydrogens at each of these unpaired electrons. And each hydrogen has an electron dot symbol with only one hydrogen or one electron. So these can all connect. So I can now clean this up and redraw it uh, in one of two ways. I can have my electrons showing, but sandwiched in between the atoms that they have the bonds with. So I could do this for a Lewis dot structure, or I could convert those bonding electrons into a line. And these are both acceptable, um, loan, or sorry, acceptable um, Lewis structures. So here I have two, central atoms, one. And I can have a lot more. I can just keep building and building out. And in fact, if you look at THC, this has a lot of atoms that are connected to other atoms. Let's see if we can find them all. I know this is the line structure, so it's a little bit trickier. Um, let's do it with this color. So on any of the ends, these are carbons, but they're bonded to different hydrogens. We've got one here. All of these ones in this ring are bonded to at least another carbon. So they're all central atoms. This hydrogen on the end, these are not, these are kind of like the hydrogens uh, here. Just to highlight this real quick. They, they're only connected to one thing. Uh, this carbon though, all of these carbons are connected to more than one thing and this oxygen. This one too. So there's a ton of atoms that would be considered the center, uh, central atoms. We've got one, like 23 atoms that um, would be like a central atom rather than an end cap. And so the complexity of these, these structures can, can really, really grow. And, and this isn't the largest molecule out there. Like they get even bigger and more complex. Um, and so when we're thinking about the overall shape of these things later, uh, which will be the next set of lectures, we're going to, whenever we need to think about it, it's, it, it's hard to think about the shape of the overall thing. Cause we'll instead just think of the shape at each of these ones that are central that are connected to another atom.